Hey everybody, this is Dave, and today I'm going to show you how Pebble Time works with notifications when connected to an iOS device. And I also brought along my Apple Watch that is also connected to the iOS device uh, with Bluetooth, and you'll be able to see some sort of comparison. Now, one thing to mention, the Pebble Time, you have to get all notifications or no notifications when it comes to iOS. Android, you've got more of a selection. You can pick and choose. As far as the Apple Watch goes and notifications, there are apps that are uh, companion apps that are built in that you can start a message, uh, reply to a message, uh, you can dismiss uh, messages, you can do everything. It's more fully functioned, of course, than the Pebble Time. But the only thing you can't do is reply to emails right now, but that's coming later on in the fall with Watch OS 2. Um, but this basically is a video to see how it works on here, and this is just, uh, you know, extra, so you can see what's going on. So now in the app, um, in the Apple Watch app, just to mention that if you're not wearing the watch and you have your screen open and unlocked, you will not get SMS or email alerts or any kind of alerts uh, on your watch. You'll only get it on the phone because it's unlocked. I wish Apple had a way to choose that if you want to get all your notifications on here, regardless if you're unlocked or locked on your phone, whether it's in your pocket or, you know, in the other room or whatever, or playing music. Maybe the app is open and you'll get notifications here, but you won't see it on your watch. I don't like that. I want to be able to see all my notifications, just like you do on the Pebble Time. You see all the notifications. So let's see how it works. I'm going to send myself a text, I'm going to send myself an email, and we're going to see how it works on the Pebble Time. So I'll just type anything and I'll send it for my son's account. So let's see our notifications. It shows right up on the Pebble Time there, but it won't show up on the watch. Let's try that again. We'll send off another one. It shows up and it shows up on the Pebble Watch. Now on the Pebble Watch, uh, the only thing you can do is scroll down and read more, read the previous, they're all connected, uh, or you could just hit dismiss. On Android, you can reply to your SMS. So we'll just uh, go back to the watch face. Now if you want to check and say, what did that say again? You can go back into your notifications app and you'll see the two notifications there show up on the Pebble Time. And you can always clear that and start with a clean slate. And you'll see that it'll throw it and shred it. There'll be no notifications. So now let's send ourselves let's send ourselves a uh, email. So we'll send an email to um, myself from from the uh, my son's phone. And we'll show, see that show up. Now, you got to understand something. When it comes to email services, there's push notification and there's fetch notification. So in other words, you might have to uh, tell your iOS device to check every 15 minutes, every 30 minutes, every 60 minutes for email that you have to fetch because they don't have push notification. Now, Gmail uh, just got push notification calendars to uh, in Google. Uh, so that's a plus. That's going to be real nice when that. Uh, starts happening so that once the email gets sent to you, uh, you get it quicker. So uh, I don't think I sent that right. So I'm sending this to AOL. Now you can send this with any service and they will show up on the Pebble Time. AOL works, Yahoo, um, Gmail, uh, iCloud, everything shows up on the Pebble Time as well as on your iOS device, obviously. So I'm going to send that again. I think I maybe sent it to the wrong person. Uh, so that is definitely me. I sent that. Now we're going to wait for it to show up. Now if I click here and it will update, you're going to see now it will show up. There it is. So it shows up and it shows up on the Pebble time. The reason I had to open up the app is because I had to fetch to AOL. If I use something like iCloud or Zoom, use Google, uh, it will automatically push. Now notice the Apple Watch didn't do anything because I'm actively open in my screen. So now we're going to close the screen 
Let's dismiss this notification here. We'll hit the center button and I'll dismiss it. Um, we can even go into our shortcut button, right to notifications, to how, how, how I have it set, and we'll clear all, and we'll clear out the notification. Okay, no notifications there, no notifications showing up on the Apple Watch, even though they were in the notification here, why don't they show up here? What if my phone is on and I'm listening to music? I'm not going to get any notifications if I don't look at my phone. I don't like that. So it's one of the reasons I'm returning my Apple Watch. Uh, because they don't give you that, uh, you know, choice. So now, let's lock our screen. Let's go to the home uh, watch face on both devices. And now I'm going to send myself a SMS. And we'll hit send. So I'll send that off. The phone is locked. And now, you'll hear the ding on your watch. And if I tap the screen, there goes the notification, I mean the actual SMS, right on the Apple Watch because this is locked. Now it also showed up on here, on the Pebble Time. Now everything will show up on here, Skype, um, you know, any notification you get from an app. Uh, it works great. Uh, as far as timeline goes, timeline shows all your scheduled calendar stuff and your reminders and stuff like that in iOS. So, if you're just looking for a simple way to keep your phone in your pocket and get all of your SMS, texts, emails, things like that pop up on your Pebble Time, as well as using the timeline to get all of your calendars and things like that, uh, Pebble Time is the way to go. It's half the price, even less than half the price of the Apple Watch. Uh, the Apple Watch is too busy for me. There's too much going on. I just want notifications. I want to be able to control my music, whatever app is opened on my phone. I want to be able to set an alarm right here on the, uh, on, the, on the Pebble Time itself. I want the screen always on. It may not be the brightest screen in the world, and you have to shake it vigorously for the uh, backlight to show up. But I like my Pebble Time, and I think I'm going to stick with this. Uh, it's for me, it does what I need it to do. You can even control your, uh, you know, your, um, you, you can have a, a, a fitness app on here. It will show up as on the screen here. Um, and that's all I really need. And that's probably what everybody just needs. Uh, you can change watch faces. Uh, you know, it's much more open than Apple Watch uh, right now. Um, Sure, in the next update of the Apple Watch, it's going to bring a lot of improvements. But I just need the basic, do I need to pull my phone out of my pocket kind of thing. And control music and all that good stuff. So I'm rambling on, but I just wanted to show you how things work on the Apple Watch. I want an all-day uh, battery. Uh, this is, you know, all day, but you have to charge it at night. Pebble has a lot of great apps for sleep. Uh, monitoring and stuff like that. Uh, you could wear it for seven days on end, and uh, I think uh, this is the way to go right now until the smartwatch uh, area gets much more into, um, you know, having everything work right off the watch without a need for a phone. Then maybe Apple may have something going for itself. So anyway, this has been the notifications to the Pebble Time as well as the Apple Watch. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the next video.